Hello JasperSoft users. Today we're going to look at how to use the Jasper Reports server to schedule a report. This tutorial is going to show you the basics of JasperSoft scheduler, how to schedule reports and dashboards, and how to manage your scheduled reports on Jasper Reports server. Let's take a look. I have this sample interactive sales report and I want to share it regularly with a group of users. To do that, I'll go to the list of reports on the server and there I'll right click on it and select schedule. This will show me a list of all the scheduled jobs for this report. There aren't any in here yet, so I'll click on Create Schedule up at the top to configure a new job for the scheduler. On this screen, I can create my new report schedule. We're on the Schedule tab right now with three others up at the top. Parameters, Output Options, and Notifications. On this tab, I can set whether I want to run this job right now or if I want to specify some other date and time. Below this, I can set whether I want this to run again. The simple option here lets me quickly configure a regular distribution, while the calendar option lets me create a more tailored solution. I'm going to choose the simple option for now and set the interval to every week to make this a weekly report. The parameters tab will let me set any configurable options for the report that I'm going to be running. This tab will only be activated on reports that need to have these values set, so not all reports will have this section. As you can see on this report, I have several selectors. I want to look at breakfast foods in product department and product category will automatically set itself. I'm going to select all for product name. I'm going to deselect Canada since I'm not especially concerned about sales there, but I'll leave both male and female selected. The first section in the output options tab lets me choose the file options for this report. I can set things like its name and description, file format, and whether I want it to override files or to timestamp them. The second section lets me decide where I want the file to go. I can send it to the local repository, to the local file system, I can choose to send it to an FTP server, or I can choose a combination of these. I'll go ahead and leave these default options for the sake of this demo. The Notifications tab lets me choose who will be notified when this job runs, as well as who will receive notifications about the status of the job. Since this is just a quick tutorial, I'm going to leave these blank. When I hit Save, I'll be prompted to give this job a name and a description. I'll call this My Scheduled Job, but leave the description blank. We can now see it in the list of schedules for this report. If I navigate to View and Schedules, this will take me to a list of all the schedules we have on this server. Here we can see My Scheduled Job is listed as the only one. We can see the resource it is distributing, the URI for it, the name of the job, its ID number, who owns this job, its current state, when it was last run, and when it will run next. I can also choose to enable or disable the report by checking this box. I can click this icon to edit the job by going back to the Schedule Configuration screen, or I could decide to delete the job if I no longer have a need for it by clicking here. Today, we took a quick look at how to use JasperSoft's report scheduler. To recap, we toured the interface for configuring scheduler jobs. We created a simple schedule for a report and showed how to track and manage scheduler jobs on the server. What we saw today was just one way that the scheduler can be used. To learn more about it, you can click the links in the description to check out the JasperSoft wiki and the community site. This video is also a part of our quick start guide meant to get new users up to speed fast on what JasperSoft can do for them and how to do it. If you want to see more, we've linked that as well. From all of us here at TIPCO, thanks for watching.